I'm Martha. I'm the services librarian at the Auburn branch of the Cranston Public Library, and I'm going to show you how you can be your very own talking llama. Okay, so in order to make this, you're going to need a couple of things. A white piece of paper. I just have regular um, like construction paper here, but you can use cardstock if you want. It's so that your ears don't get floppy. So use whatever paper you like. You're going to need scissors, a popsicle stick, a marker, and tape or glue of some kind. You're also definitely going to need glue. And a paper plate and cotton balls. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our paper plate and we're going to cut out this middle part. There's a natural line that you can use. And usually when I'm cutting something like this, I fold it in half and I make a little cut and that lets me get my scissors in there. And so you can cut along the line so you can get the whole cut out. And this is actually great if you want to make any kind of mask. It makes a hole in the middle so you can see, um, but also allows you the space to decorate your mask. So see, Ooh, you can make anything out of this. You can make yourself a kitty or a bunny or something that's not an animal. Um, but if you want to be a talking animal, you got to choose an animal to make. So now that I've got that circle, I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to show you before I do it. I'm going to put glue all around the outside and I'm just going to make a nice big line because I want to get cotton balls all over the place. Okay. So llamas are fuzzy, right? one of the reasons we love them. So I'm going to take my cotton ball and I'm going to pull it apart a little bit. Okay. Do you see how it's getting bigger? All right. And that way you don't need to use as many cotton balls and it's going to look more like a llama because a llama doesn't look like it's got cotton balls stuck all over it. Right. It looks like it's got its own hair on there. So I'm going to pull them apart and I'm not going to do the whole thing on video because this part takes a while. So my llama, he's going to look like he doesn't have quite enough hair, but I want to make sure you guys all get the idea. But when you're finished, the outside will look like this. You'll have lots and lots of cotton balls all the way around. So what's the next thing that your llama is going to need? Ears, right? So you want to get your construction paper and you're going to draw some nice ears for your llama, okay? And there's sort of a dome shape. You want to make sure that they're longer than a cat's ear, shorter than, well, not shorter than a lot of ears. It's kind of like bunny ears, but with a point. But you can make whatever kinds of ears you like. And if you're making a cat, you would make the shorter, pointier ones. If you were making dog's ears, you might make um, more like bunny ears, but flapping down, unless your dog had more cat-like ears. So I've drawn some ears and I'm going to cut them out. And it's a pretty simple cut. So if you don't use scissors yet, you can ask an adult to help but it's a very easy cut. So if you're a beginner with scissors, it's probably okay for you to do. They're just curved lines, not very hard. See how quick that was? So I've got two ears and I've got my llama, which is not quite finished yet, but we'll get there. And you can get some tape tape. Got cotton balls everywhere. And I'm using masking tape because you might want a little bit of a stronger tape, otherwise your ears might fall off. And strangely enough, llamas do not like it when their ears fall off. So I'm getting some pretty big pieces just because I want to make sure that it sticks. And on the back of your 
paper plate, you want to stick that tape, okay? So I'm just making it so that it'll stay on. See that? And you can always glue it too. If you want to glue it and you have the patience um, for it to dry, um, then you'll probably have even sturdier ears. All right. So it's starting to look like a llama. I think so. And next you're going to just add a little bit of detail on your ears. I think this just makes them look a little bit more like ears. So I've drawn those lines there. Okay. And the last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some more tape. Can't always find the end. All right. Nice big piece of tape. And you're going to get your popsicle stick. And you're going to do the same thing as you did with the ears. You're going to tape it. And you want to put a lot of the popsicle stick on because you want to make sure that you can use your popsicle stick to hold up your mask. All right, so do you see that? And you might even add more tape, depending. See? All right. So when you're finished, your mask is going to look like this, right? And uh, mine's a little wobbly, but you can do things like you could put more popsicle sticks around the edge if you want to make sure that it'll hold up. Or you can just rest it on your face. And then you can be a talking llama like me. And uh, figure out what a llama would say. Does a llama say, meh, like a goat? Or does it say, bah, like a sheep? Or does it speak English or another language? So I hope that you'll have fun with that. Bye.